Good morning, everybody. Uh, Ken Cooley here, Public Image Chair for District 6510. I uh, wanted to say hello to everybody first. I hope you guys are all safe, uh, healthy. Uh, it's kind of a weird time that we're living in right now. And, uh, you know, I just, uh, much love to everybody out there. I hope you guys are doing great and taking care of each other. Um, a lot of what Rotary has brought to me is that family, that friendship, um, and I just want to make sure uh, we'll talk a little bit about kind of reaching out to those guys that maybe you haven't seen because you haven't done full meetings. Um, we'll talk about a lot of that stuff. Uh, but for the most part, uh, for public image, our world's changing right now. Um, there's going to be three big things that I want you to kind of do for this year. We'll touch base on all of those. My email is going to be up uh periodically throughout this if you need to reach out uh, my phone number as well if you have any questions or need any help with anything uh there's plenty of people in this district that can help uh i am one of them and i'm happy to help uh facilitate any questions or needs that you may have so um again hope you guys are safe uh we're living in strange times right now but at the end of the day we're going to make this work right so uh Really, let's get started. Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, you know, I tend to, when I was growing up in Connecticut, uh, I always wanted to be the rock star, right? Uh, I really just wanted to play out, get loud, play in front of people and have fun. So I started a group, started a band, couldn't get played anywhere, never got played on the radio. Uh, people were, people didn't know who we were. Uh, we'd do shows to two and three people. And uh, we're probably related to two or three people. But um, at the same time, uh, there was this band in Connecticut. Uh, I won't tell you their name because they were really terrible. But uh, they got all the big gigs. Uh, they were on the radio. They played live everywhere. Uh, and had all of like the big, uh, big giant shows, kind of like the amphitheater in, in Missouri. And... Uh, I went and go went to see them, and they were just terrible. Uh, you know, they are, were like Nickelback or uh, one of the, <laughs> one of those terrible bands that you just hear and you're like, ugh. Um, but I got to meet the lead singer after the show, and uh, I asked him. I said, you know, how are you guys? I didn't tell him he stunk, uh, even though they did. But uh, you know, after the show, I was like, how are you guys getting all of these gigs? How are you guys getting uh, on radio play? The guy was cool enough to sit down and just talk to me. And he said, you know, uh, for every show that we do, I send out T-shirts, CDs, uh, promotional stickers, whatever it takes to the newspapers and the radio stations. Now, I know most of those people don't like the music that we're playing, he said. But uh, at the same time, they always put us in the papers. You'd see them at shows sometimes, even the, the critics with the shirts. So uh, that kind of put a light bulb off in my head. Um, I really got to a point uh, where I, I really started to understand uh, it's all about promotion, right? It's all about getting the word out there, uh, figuring out who you are, what you're good at, and then telling the world. Uh, I, I say this every time. No one, and I mean no one, will discover how cool you are if you're in your basement. So I always made a mental note to myself, get out of the basement. Tell everybody how awesome you are. That's how I feel about Rotary. Uh, really, at the same time, uh, we don't tell our story. We don't brag. We, uh, whenever we do service projects, nine times out of ten, we're not doing the promotion ahead of time to tell people that we're doing service projects. And then afterwards, when the service project's done, we're not even putting it in the papers, putting it on social media. We're expecting somebody else from the club to do that. So hopefully, uh, what I'm going to kind of teach you a little bit today kind of goes along those lines. But what we're going to do is we're going to get you and your club out of the basement, right? So I would do everything to get the word out. I would do, uh, I would send t-shirts. I would send CDs. 
I would send stickers to everybody. Started playing all over Connecticut, started touring the East Coast, uh, really just had a blast doing it. Um, it cost me my hair, I think, at some point. But uh, at the same time, uh, I really hope that as a club, you start thinking of your club as a business, right? Uh, start thinking of, of your club as how I'm going to promote my business to grow. And I, I know Mary's talks about membership. Um, I think these go a little hand in hand. I think that if you guys are able to take a few of the tips and a few of the steps away that I'm going to sh share with you, uh, your club can grow. Uh, you know, and, and even in these crazy weird times where we're, we're meeting on Zoom and, and we're doing Skype and we're doing go-to meetings, we can still be engaging, we can still get the word out, and we can still tell the public how awesome Rotary is. So we're always looking for uh, public image superstars. I mean, you've heard me use the term social butterfly before. There's also a social flamingo out there. Uh, I won't mention any names, but uh, at the same time, that's the person you wanna figure out in your club. It's the person who is taking all the pictures, taking, uh, you know, taking pic 20 pictures of their grandchildren, 20 pictures of where they're at visiting on vacation. That's the person who should be your public image chair. So um, one of the things I really want you as a club to, to think about is who's that person that you can trust um, and make them your public image chair. Please make them your public image chair. You're wasting efforts if they're not doing that right now. Uh, so hopefully you kind of get that moving and get that ball rolling. So that's number one. Who's your social butterfly? Who is your social flamingo, right, Holly? And who is the person that really uh, is involved with Facebook or Instagram or, or whatever that'll post all of your current events? So keep that in mind. Uh, I talk a little bit about Gary. Uh, I I won't put the, the picture of Gary up again as Superman. I probably did that to him uh, way too many times. I know, I'm a jackass. So, um, but really, you know, Gary had this premise of, of everybody being a superhero. And as a Rotarian, uh, you really are. You know, you're out there doing public work. Uh, you're out there uh, getting informed, uh, pushing the needle to make sure that uh, we're doing the good work that Rotary can do. Gary is a big proponent of that. Uh, and the good thing about Lorraine coming in is that uh, Lorraine as well, what we really want to do with public image is we're not going to tell you how to do that. L Lorraine has a, a really cool laid back style, much like myself, uh, that uh, we want to find out what you're doing for public image and then we want to help. We want to help make that better. So uh, again, my email will be strode across there. Reach out to me, please help us help you. Uh, with your public image. Um, depending on the kind of groups that you're looking for, um, you know, you're going to want to figure out whether you want Facebook, Instagram, if you want a, a big web-based uh, unit. Uh, what my club found out was doing the web-based uh, really didn't work for us. We were paying X amount of dollars per month. We had three people visit uh, we for six months. Uh, for Facebook, we did one video that had 600 views in a day. So that should tell you right there, uh, be smart, be selective on what you want to do. You've got options for Instagram. You've got options for Facebook, uh, Twitter as well. I'm not a big fan of Twitter, but some people are. Um, there's different options out there, and I'm kind of going to talk a little bit about that. So there's a lot of logos out there. We got to figure out how we can make ourselves different. We got to figure out how uh, Rotary or our clubs can stand out, right? So there's a couple of things I want to point out right now. If you're a club and you're not using a Rotary Center, right? Rotary Brand Center. 
And I'm even pulling out the glasses for this. But uh, the Brand Center is really a, a, a one-stop shop. It's a total solutions provider for everything your social butterfly, that public image person needs to promote your club. Get a, get a logo done. Get a, uh, you want to do a brochure? They have templates in there that'll get you doing that uh, brochure as well. Um, anything you possibly think of, they have promotional videos. Uh, use that site, and I'll put that up here as well. Uh, really push that site because there is a lot of information out there. And again, my favorite word, free, uh, that you can use for Rotary Brand Central or, or Rotary Brand Center. Uh, use the tools that are out there. Uh, you know, again, as Rotarians, we don't like to brag, but here's some, here's some things that you really got to understand as a Rotarian, as a club. First off, your club rocks, right? You're doing service projects. You're out there in the community. Uh, there's really a lot of things out there that uh, you're just not telling people for. So hopefully in the end, we can kind of get that going. You do amazing things in the community. Uh, you're not your average club because I've seen a lot of clubs out there doing different styles and doing different events. Uh, one of the clubs has a, a corn uh, fundraiser. I'm sold, you know. Uh, anytime that's involved, uh, the crazier the better. Um, don't be afraid to fail either. Uh, some, some clubs out there need to be different. My club is club number four in the town, uh, in, in a quick region. Um, we're a little nutty. We're a little different. We do a lot of weird stuff. We play rock and sock and robots. We do weird socials. Uh, so keep that in mind. Uh, you don't, there's no rotary police as Gary said at the, the conference last year, even though I saw one. Uh, but, uh, you know, again, be different. Be that club that gets out there and makes and spreads the word. But don't worry, because you make mistakes. This is the best way to learn, best way to uh, figure out how to get stuff done. Does your club have like a, a web page? Do you have Facebook? Do you have Instagram? We got to know. Let us help you, give you the tools on how to operate that. A lot of clubs are posting boring pictures. Boring pictures. And I'm going to tell you right now, the crazy thing about that is if you are, if I'm a prospective member and I go onto your website and one, I see a boring picture, uh, two, I see a picture that was taken in 2013 that hasn't been updated, um, that's going to make me want to go join the Kiwanis Club, right? Or uh, be an elk or whatever, uh, you know, but again, keep everything current. And the best way to do that is to have your Facebook, your Instagram, if you don't know how to do that, um, on our DACDB, we have a site uh, that has instructions on how to make a Facebook page, how to do an Instagram, how to do a Twitter page. And the cool thing about that is it's in our, uh, our DACDB in the social media tab. And I'll put a picture up here. So just go to the public files page and you'll see it and I'll send it. Uh, if anybody, if you can't find anything, again, email me back. Uh, make sure that you have that. But in that public files page, Janice, um, a couple of years ago, Janice knew nothing about public image, knew nothing about Facebook, but she took it upon herself to go learn how to do stuff. She actually put together this really awesome presentation on how to make a Facebook page. If you want to stop there, stop there. How to make an Instagram page. If you want to stop there, stop there. How to make a Twitter page. If you want to stop there, stop there. Um, if you want to do one post to go through all of the pages, uh, we even have that set up there for you too as well. So Janice put that together. Uh, and, and I still love this presentation to that day.
Again, the reason why you don't want to do a, a web page is something that you pay for. Um, web pages are dying. People, people have the attention span of a gnat right now. Um, so, uh, you know, to go on Google or go, people, most people are on their phones on Facebook or on Instagram or wherever, uh, killing time for five, 10 minutes at a clip. Uh, let that be, start thinking in terms of getting rid of that other old web page. And if you're still getting hits on that web page, keep it. But, uh, if you're still getting web hits on that web page, I want to know about that. Uh, but with that said, uh, going back to being current on pictures, every time you put a picture on Facebook, it's current, right? Person can see that picture. Hey, last weekend, this club did a social. Hey, last weekend, this club did a fundraiser. These pictures are going to be current. So keep that in mind as you're doing that. Um, if you don't know how to do Facebook or how to do posts or, or anything along those lines, just hit me up. I have a couple of different tutorials I can send to you. Uh, happy to do that. Uh, if you're a person who's afraid of technology, I promise you we're going to make it easy peasy. Again, Janice knew nothing a couple of years ago, and now she she's smarter than I am when it comes to a lot of this stuff. So keep that in mind. Uh, there's a lot of, uh, it's not as hard as you think. We really want to talk about doing videos. This is number two, right? Number two, make videos. We're finding that when you do a post, uh, and, and I talked to Chuck Burnett at, on the district level with this as well. Um, we're finding that when you do a post, yeah, a lot of people will, will read the post and like it and everybody shares that and that's great. But a lot more people are looking at 30 second videos, minute videos. Uh, last year, at, uh, I want to say it was pre-pets, uh, we made a video uh, that really got 600 views in uh, a day. And so it was one of those situations where, again, you want to hold the camera up. You want to take it. You do like a, a little quick talk show um, and make your life easy. 30 seconds, one minute, minute and a half, have a conversation. And uh, trust me, you post that. Let your friends see that. Tell your friends to share that video. And uh, trust me, it'll be awesome. We'll get that to going. So the good thing, the, the, the last thing a, a little bit about the video is you want to make it fun, right? Again, I don't want to join a club where I go and I watch a video and it's 30 seconds of, hey, I'm Tom and George and yeah, 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 right? Have fun. Have fun with the conversation. Let the people who are watching it, who are not in, in the club, maybe think about, oh, wow, they're, that group's at the Violence Prevention Center um, they're changing lives right now. I'm sitting on my couch. Maybe I should get up off this couch and go help these guys do what they're doing. So kind of keep that in mind as well. I'm going to ask you right now, this is another thing. If you are Facebook savvy, media savvy, if you are a social butterfly or flamingo, take a second and start getting into this habit. Take a quick picture of what you're looking at right now. And it doesn't have to be me. But I want you guys to take a picture and, you know, either do a selfie of, hey, this is how I'm spending my morning learning how to change the world. Hashtag District 6510. Hashtag your club. Um, are you guys checking in when you go to your club meetings? I know some of us do. Um, but really at that point, these are how we get the word out to kind of help our uh, help the community understand who we are, what we do. Uh, and I, I point, I joke around with Holly all the time. But, you know, at the end of the day, every one of her friends knows what Rotary is. And they know what good her club's doing in the community. So keep that coming. Make that noise. Right now, take your selfies. Take your pictures of, hey, I'm sitting here learning uh, about uh, District 6510. I'm learning about public image. And post it on Facebook. Post it on Instagram. Because I promise you right now, when you do, somebody is going to be out there going, hey, that's kind of cool. What is Rotary? I, I recently had a group. 
of uh, 30 of my friends that I went to high school with uh, last week. And the reason why I tell you this quick story is because when they asked what I did, I told them I'm, I'm knee deep in rotary and not a one of them knew what that was. Nobody knew what rotary was. So we're not getting the word out there. Let's get the word out there. So again, we kind of, we talked about making a video. Uh, we talked about, you know, your social butterfly. I want them to be your public image chair. And I want you guys to tell me who your public image chair is. So for the next month, you've got a month to figure out who your public image chair is. Uh, do that and then get them in touch with me ASAP. We're going to make that happen. So the big three. And, and I know I went kind of a little out of order. You need to have a social presence. This year especially, you need to have a social presence. You need to post every time you're doing meetings, whether it's Zoom, whether it's when we all get together and we're finally allowed to get out of here, uh, out of the state of Illinois. Uh, you know, we want to be able to make sure that we can show everybody who we are, what we do, um, Tell your friends every chance you get you're doing rotary. So that's number one, social presence. Work on the so social presence. Um, number two, this month, you got one month, clubs. Figure out who your public image person is. I want them. I want to show them how to change the world. I want to show them how to tell people how to change the world. So keep that in mind. Uh, that's number two. And number three, start doing videos this year especially even if it's a uh we were kind of talking about my club uh and i always go back to my club but uh my club did a zoom meeting uh we talked about we didn't we had a zoom social we didn't talk about anything other than hey how you doing how you been um but these things are, are good we need to keep doing these things so and, and as long as we're on lockdown uh, these are your options, right? So uh, you can work with Zoom. You can work with Skype. If you're a club that needs help and is trying to figure out, I know I, I had a call uh, last week in regards to how to set up Zoom. It's very, very easy. Um, they'll give you, for a smaller club, they'll give you 40 minutes free. Um, if you're a bigger club, uh, you know, for, I think it's like 45 or more. Um, you're going to pay 14, 15 bucks a month. But at the same time, I, I think it's value added and value worth it. I'd rather do that than to spend whatever on my web page. You know, so keep that in mind. Uh, I'll make options for that available. But again, I want your public image chair for a month. I want your social media presence updated. And I want you to make videos. Make videos. Have fun with them. Learn how to use the camera. You don't have to do them live. You can always edit them. But you always want to make sure when you do the videos, just like the pictures, you're not doing ominous video. You're not doing, you know, uh, hey, I'm Tony and yada, yada. Get everybody in focus. But even if you're holding the camera, right, and you're just talking, you and your buddy are talking, that's perfect. 30 minutes or 30, 30 minutes, 30 seconds to a minute and a half. That's all you need. That's all the district's looking for. We want to keep stepping up that presence. We want to make those uh, the uh, people of action photos. If you don't know how to do that as well, I'll post the website here. That can help you as well as Rotary Brand Center can help you as well. Um, if you have questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I, I really, at the end of the day, is what I love to do. Um, and it's really for us uh, at the district level, again, we, we don't want to step on toes. We want to give you better shoelaces. I don't know. So keep that in mind. Um, you know, at the end of the day, uh, we're here to help. And I know this is kind of going to be some crazy times. Uh, if you've got... A club that meets on Zoom, 
I'll do a meeting for you. I'll be your guest speaker. I know that uh, the other thing too, and I don't want to speak for anybody, but I know anybody in this district, any of the district leadership will jump at a chance to come to your club, talk live or talk on a Zoom. So keep that in mind as well. If you got questions, hit me up. Um, and again, uh, I hope you guys are all safe. Uh, if you need hand, uh, anything, anything at all, let us know. The last thing I will tell you is that uh, Chuck Norris approves. So uh, you guys have a great day. Uh, stay safe. Please reach out if you need us. And uh, we'll see you later.